I'm sort of proud that I was one of the people who essentially formulated the careful mathematics behind atomic and molecular physics. There's something called continuous symmetry breaking. The Higgs boson is an example of continuous symmetry breaking. And the only example where it's been mathematically proven to occur is a result that I proved with two other people 30 years ago now. And there are no other results along that line. It's just hard. My parents were not observant at all, but they did have Jewish identity. I was bar mitzvahed in a reform synagogue. And in graduate school, I was introduced to uh, Frumkite, and uh, it really appealed to me for a variety of reasons. You know, I'm a mathematician, and mathematicians are well known to be eccentric. So I have a different kind of eccentricity from other people. Science doesn't give answers, it asks questions. Um, and it's certainly not all questions and not all things are answered. I was at a lecture where someone, this was 15 years ago, they had just decoded the first genetic full genome, and there was someone, it was in a virus, and someone was explaining that there were 140 genes, they understood all of them. A very distinguished theoretical physicist was sitting next to me. Without thinking about who he was talking to, he leaned over and said, it's hard to believe something like that arose spontaneously, isn't it? And I said, precisely, and he got very red.